Hello, everyone, and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. And in this last part of creating our simple to do list using Flutter and Firebase, we're going to see that how we can actually delete a to do list item. So let's first go ahead and run our app. I'm just going to do a restart again. And I'm going to go over here on the right hand side in my Android emulator and try to add a task. So I'm just going to say wash the car. And I will save it. And you can see the task is added over here. If I go to the Firebase console, you can see that the task is also added over here. Great. Let's go ahead and add another task. I'm just going to say feed the dog. Save. And you can see that feed the dog is also added. But the question is, how do we remove the task? If I try to remove the task, I have multiple options. I can add a delete button or remove button. Or I can simply do swipe to delete, which is pretty common if you're using a mobile device. So for swipe to delete, there is something called dismissible. So I'm just going to go ahead and return inside the build list. Instead of returning a list tile, so I can remove that. I'm going to return a dismissible widget. And what the dismissible widget actually does, it allows you to do the swipe from left to right and right to left to dismiss items. All right. Now, one of the things that we need to provide is a child. So this child will be displayed on the screen. And we can use the list tile as our child. So that is perfectly fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the list tile. And we're going to go ahead and display the name of the task because doc is a dictionary. Now, after writing doc, which is a map or a dictionary, and getting the value of the name, you can see that on the right hand side in the emulator, it's still not satisfied because we still need to provide some other properties, required properties of dismissible widget. And one of those properties is the key property. The key property is used to distinguish between different dismissible. Since we're running inside a loop, which is a list view builder, and this particular item builder is fired multiple times, we need to differentiate dismissible uh, using a key. So we can always use a key and pass in some value. So this value you should pass has to be something unique. Um, one of the things that you can pass is the document.id, which is actually the document ID. And if we go back to our Firebase database, you can see that the document ID I'm talking about is this one. And this is a very important ID because this particular ID for each document is different. And using this ID, if we have this ID, we can delete a particular document. Do not delete a document using a name or some other thing that can be duplicated. I mean, I might have feed the dog over here, but maybe down the road, I have another document which is feed the dog. And if I use the name to delete the task feed the dog, then all the different elements will be deleted. All the different documents with the name will be deleted. So you should always find something unique about the document to delete. And the document ID is one of those unique things. So I'm going to pass in the document ID over here. That's fine. The other thing that you want to do is something called on dismissed. On dismissed is a function that is going to get fired when you swipe from left to right or right to left. And it is even going to give you access to the direction meaning if it was right to left or left to right. Now, I don't really care about the direction, so I'm just simply going to delete it over here. Delete the document from <clears throat> the database. In order to delete the document, I'm going to use the Firebase Firestore instance dot collection. Which collection do we want to delete it from? The collection name is TAS, which is right over here. That is where we are storing all the documents. But we want to get a particular document. So we are going to access a particular document using the document ID. So doc.id, that's the document ID, dot delete. And that's it. I mean, that's all you need to do to delete a document. Now, the good thing is that once you delete the document, since in the previous lectures, we have added our stream builder, whenever the document is going to get deleted from the task collection, the stream builder is going to recognize that and it's going to refresh our list. 
Let's go ahead and check it out now. Now you can see that I can swipe right and left. Now it would be really nice if I can see some sort of indication that this is for delete. And you can also do that by changing the background. So there's a property on the dismissible called background. And I can go ahead and set a container with a color. And you can use any color, but since we're deleting, I'm just going to use red. Now let me go ahead and swipe again. And now you can see the red color coming in. And if I swipe, it's gone. You can see now I have only one document left. If I go ahead and swipe again, it's gone. All right. So now we have created a simple to-do list in Flutter, which works with iOS application, which works with Android application, and it allows you to add, delete, and even display all the to-do list items. So we have completed all the major portions of a CRUD application without the update. But this is a great step, and I really hope that you have enjoyed this. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. I have actually a brand new course, which is called Writing Clean Code, and it allows you to implement maintainable, readable, and easy to understand code in any programming language. So you don't have to be a Dart developer or a C Sharp developer. All the things that I'm discussing in this course, you can use it with any programming language that you want. You can see that we cover naming, function, comments, objects, and data structures, error handling, unit test development, testament development, lifecycle classes, and so much more. This is a four-hour course, and after learning all of these things, you will be able to go back to your code and refactor it and make your code much better. So, if you are interested in this course, the link will be right there in the YouTube description. And right now, there's a deal going on till the 8th of January. 2021. So I'll include the link for uh, the referral and also that deal going on. All right. So check out the YouTube description for the links. Thank you so much.